Mr. Liu, the uh, petitioner argues that they have a property interest in the suit, and I think that's uh, underscored by Stevens, which says that uh, they have a partial in stake in this. Uh, if you can uh, unilaterally dismiss, uh, how can you square that with the assignment that they have? Well, I think this, we, we do recognize that they are assigned a property interest, and that is precisely why we think there is a constitutional baseline that applies. It's precisely because they have a property interest under the Due Process Clause of the Fifth Amendment that we think, even in the absence of any standard specified in the statute, the government still has to comply with a, gov with a constitutional baseline in deciding whether to dismiss. That's not a very rigorous baseline. I think the Ninth Circuit got the baseline wrong in Sequoia Orange when the Ninth Circuit looked to the standard that applies to evaluating legislative action. The relevant standard here is a standard that applies to evaluating executive action. And this court, in cases like County of Sacramento versus Lewis, has made clear that that is a tough standard to meet. It requires egregious, outrageous, uh, executive action to satisfy. Does this baseline exist at the initiation of the action or does it only exist later when you have to intervene in order to dismiss as you seek to do now? I think it exists throughout the action. We, we think we don't need to intervene at all as a prerequisite to dismissal. So if we were to exercise our dismissal right even without intervening, we think we would have to at least uh, we, we could not violate the Constitution in doing so.